welcome to today's lesson. So today we're going to look at interior angles of polygons. Firstly, let's look at what a polygon is, okay? Polygons are shapes which have at least three connected straight sides. So let's look at some examples. So these shapes here are polygons. So you can see that all of them have straight sides and they're all connected and they all have at least three sides. So here we've got a triangle, um, so this has got three sides and the rest have got more than three sides, so they're all polygons. And then what about shapes that aren't polygons? Well, let's look at some of those as well. So these shapes aren't polygons. That's because, let's take the first one, it doesn't have straight sides. You've got some curved sides here and here, as well as here. And here, this one might look like a polygon, but the sides aren't connected. Okay, remember they need to be connected to be a polygon. So these shapes aren't polygons. Okay, so now we know what polygons are. It's important to know that they can be put into two different groups. So you can have regular polygons and you can have irregular polygons. A polygon is regular when all angles are equal and all the sides are equal. This is a regular triangle. So all the sides are equal, all the angles are equal, and we call this an equilateral triangle. Um, this is a regular quadrilateral, and the name we call this is a square. This is a regular pentagon and a regular something else. I don't know how many sides this has. These are irregular because they're not made up of equal side lengths. You can see that the lengths, some of the lengths are different sizes. So hopefully now we know what um, polygons are, what regular and irregular polygons are. So let's move on to interior angles. What do we mean by interior angles? So interior angles are the angles inside the polygon. Okay. Um, so these have already been drawn in for you. So they're inside the shape. This is a five-sided polygon, it's a pentagon, so it's going to have five interior angles. And today, what we're going to look at is how to work out what the sum of these angles are. Okay, so for any polygon, whether it's got six sides, seven sides, eight sides, nine sides, we're going to work out what the sum of all the angles or all the interior angles are. To do that, uh, we're going to start with a very familiar shape, a triangle, okay? So a triangle is a three-sided polygon, so therefore it should have three angles inside. Now if I was to ask you what the sum of these three angles are for any triangle, hopefully you would say 180 degrees, okay? So the angles inside any triangle add to or sum to 180 degrees. And we're going to use this to help us out today. To do this, what I would like you to do is grab a pen and paper, um, and I'd like you to draw a four-sided polygon for me, a four-sided shape. Now I've drawn one here. It's an irregular one. It doesn't matter what you draw. You could draw the square or rectangle, or you don't mind. It doesn't really matter. Or you could draw this one here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to divide this into triangles. So we're going to choose one corner to start with and what I want you to do is draw a line from this corner to all the other corners of your polygon, okay? So this corner, I'm actually not going to draw that one because that's just a side of the shape, but I can draw it to this corner, okay? And then you've got obviously one more corner here, but if I try and draw to that corner, I just end up drawing along the side of the shape again, so that's not gonna work. So what I've done, and what you would have done, uh, hopefully, is split your um, four-sided shape into two triangles, okay? One triangle here, another triangle here. Now I'm gonna draw in the angles in both triangles. So in my first triangle, here are my three angles. One, two, three. And in my second triangle, my three angles are here. One, two, three. So hopefully you can see that the four angles in my four-sided shape are actually made up of the angles in both these two triangles. So if I want to know what these four add up to make, I can just add together these three angles and these three angles. So 180 and then another lot of 180. So in here I've got two lots of 180 and you can do the same for yours. 
and 2 times 180 is 360 degrees. So therefore, for any four-sided shape, the sum of the interior angles is 360 degrees. This time, I'd like you to draw a five-sided shape, so a pentagon. I've drawn an irregular one here, and what we're going to do is we're going to split up into triangles again. So to do this, we're going to pick a corner. I'm going to pick one corner here, and I'm going to draw a line from this corner to the other co corners of my pentagon. So I'm going to start here. Now, that's the first corner, but that's just a side of the pentagon, so that's not going to work. So my first line is actually going to be this one here. And going back to my starting point, I'm going to draw to the next line, corner, sorry, which is over here. And then go back to my starting point. Oh, that one doesn't work because it's the side of the pentagon, so I'm going to get rid of that. So I've managed to split my five-sided shape into three triangles now. One two, three, and hopefully you'd have done the same. I'm going to draw in the angles on each of these three triangles. So taking the first one first, the three angles are here. The second one, the three angles are here. And for the third one, three angles are here. One, two, and three. So hopefully you can see that the five angles inside my five-sided shape are made up of the angles from my three triangles. So therefore, to work out the sum of these five angles, I would just need to add together the angles inside my three triangles. So I've got one lot, two lots, and three lots of 180 degrees which is equal to 540 degrees. So for any five-sided polygon, the sum of the interior angles is equal to 540 degrees. Let's now draw a six-sided shape, okay? Pause the video if you need a bit of time to make sure it's got six sides. Um, and then we're gonna try and divide this into triangles. Okay, so I'm gonna start here on this side, this corner, sorry. And I can't go here, but I can draw to that corner. And then to the next one, which is here, starting from the top again, to the next one, which is here. And then the next one would be here, but that's just the side of the shape, so I'm not going to include that line. So I have, and hopefully you do too, one, two, three, oh, sorry, three, four triangles. Again, I'm going to draw in all the angles inside our triangles. We've got one, two, three angles. And then in the second triangle, one, two, three, one, two, and three, and in the fourth triangle, one, two, and three. This is a six-sided polygon, so it's got six angles. One, two, three, four, five, and six. These six angles are made up of the angles within those four triangles. So to work out the sum of those six angles, we need four lots of 180, okay? Four times 180 degrees, which is 720 degrees. So the sum of the interior angles for any six-sided polygon is equal to 720 degrees. Let's take a look at all of our results on one page. So here we have four-sided shapes, two triangles, so to work out the sum it's 2 times 180. For five-sided polygons, we've got three triangles, so we do three lots of 180, and for six-sided polygons, that splits up into four triangles, so we do four lots of 180 to work out the sum of the interior angles. 
So hopefully you notice that if I take away 2 from the number of sides, it gives me the number of triangles. So 4 take away 2 is 2, 5 take away 2 is 3, and 6 take away 2 is 4. Okay, so if I, have the, if I know the number of sides, I just need to subtract 2 to give me the number of triangles that are going to fit in that polygon. Let's say I had a 20-sided 20, 20 polygon, and I wanted to work out the sum of the interior angles in that 20-sided shape. Okay, I would just need to take away 2, and that would tell me the number of triangles. So there are 18 triangles inside it. So therefore, the sum of all the angles inside is just going to be 18 times 180 degrees. And I don't know what that is in my head. <laughs> now that we know this, let me just uh, get rid of this. Okay. What we're going to try and do is write down a rule that we can use for any sided polygon. If we want to work out what the sum is of the interior angles, let's say we're going to use the letter N to represent the number of sides that polygon has. We know that we need to take away 2 to work out how many triangles fit inside that polygon. And then we need to multiply this with 180 degrees. Okay, so this is the rule that we use to work out the sum of the interior angles in any n-sided polygon. Great, so how do we use this? Here's our first question. What is the sum of the interior angles? Remember the rule was the sum is equal to n minus 2, because that gives us the number of triangles, multiply by 180 degrees. Okay, so n in this case is 7 because there are 7 sides or 7 angles. So this is going to be equal to 7 take away 2 and then that multiplied by 180 degrees which is the same as 5 times 180 degrees which is equal to 900. If I was to add all of these angles together in any seven side shape, I'd get 900 degrees. Okay, so that brings us to the end of our video on interior angles. If you'd like to practice some more questions on this, I will be uploading a video on angles in polygons, which will have increasingly difficult questions for you to have a go at. If you found this video useful, please do give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate the support as I'm just at the beginning of my YouTube journey. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye.